Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how I did this material using the composite material with Octane. So in my scene here I have my skull model, plus some area lights. To achieve this material result, you need to first lit your scene the right way. The skull here is from Bellelis, the link to purchase is in the description. So to begin we need to go to the node editor and create a composite material. Drag a submaterial and plug it to the material 1. Material 2 mask will be the mix between the material 1 and material 2, so we need to create a first material, then a dirt node that will be the mask, and then the second material. Apply the material to our models here. Let's go to our first submaterial, so for this one I want something like a pearlescent or oil slick material. This is largely inspired by Travis Davis's tutorial, the link is in the description. First we need to make the material universal. Go to thin film layer and add a float texture in the film width. You won't see anything because we need to make our albedo darker. So let's make a dark green. And now if you play with the value of the float, you can see that looks like an oil slick. Let's introduce some roughness as well. Now I want to add more details by adding a bump map. So for this I use the roughness maps from Travis Davis, find the link in the description. Invert the bump here. Change the projection to box and make the map a bit smaller. I also boost the IOR to get something more flashy. Now, if you play with your float texture from the film width, you will see that you can really get some different results. Next we will create the second material, but first let's add a float texture in the material 2 mask. So at 0.5 we have a perfect mix of the two materials. If I go to 0, I have the material we just created. If I go to 1, we have the material 2 that we are going to create. For the second one, I want to create a subsurface scattering material. Grab a submaterial, plug it to the material 2, change it to universal. To see what we are doing, change the float to 1. First we have to make this material transmissive. Add a float texture to the transmission slot and put one. Next go to common tab and check fake shadows. Finally to have a transmissive material, the albedo needs to be black. Now go to the Medium tab and add a Scattering. The first thing we have here is the density. This tells Octane how dense are the particles inside the material. The denser they are, the more light will be absorbed, and the more opaque the material will be. Let's put the density at 25. Next, let's talk about the absorption. If Invert Absorption is checked, then the color you feed here will be the color doesn't absorb. So the color you feed here will be the visible color. I'm going to add a light purple here. Now we can also add a color to the scattering slot here. So this color won't be absorbed by octane, and a different color will be scattered. Let's add a blue color here. As a final touch, I'm going to add some roughness. So 
So now you have that plastic wax material that I really like. Finally, we have to mix between these two materials, and to do so, I'm going to introduce a dirt node here and plug it to the Material 2 mask. Solo the dirt to better see what we are doing. I can see that we need that inverted. I want my oil material to be the main one, and the scattered material to be on the edges of the skull. So grab an invert node and solo it. Crank up the details on the dirt node, play with radius, the tolerance and the spread to have something nice. Unsolo the invert node, and here is the result. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.